What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man Chaz Ellis once again answering the questions that you ask me. Now right after you guys get done watching this video, I want you to go ahead and go to the Chaz Ellis Project um, it's the chazellusproject.com. That's my website. You're going to be able to watch videos. You're going to be able to participate in discussions. You're going to be able to um, just look at a whole bunch of different stuff. I got blogs on there that you're going to be able to check out. All kind of stuff. Go right there right now because this is the first day that it's going to be up. Um, you'll be the first person to look at it maybe. You might be number five, number ten. I don't know. But check it out. The chazellusproject.com. Check it out. Okay. The question that I got... And I know a lot of people had this question, um, but I'm answering it right now, is can a player change? Can a player change his ways? That's one of the biggest questions I think people have been asking for years and years and years. Can a player change his ways? Um, well, the answer to that question is a little complicated because it depends on what you're considering a player. If you're just talking about somebody who sleeps with a whole bunch of women, um, they don't really it would they don't really require a lot of change to be in a relationship. Because all you really gotta go from is sleeping with a bunch of chicks to just sleeping with one chick. It doesn't take the same amount of change that it does if you're a dude that's just really dishonest. <laughs> or um you um sell girls dreams you got multiple girls going at once and one thinks that they're your girlfriend and the other ones you know think that they're your girlfriend also you got a whole bunch of stuff going on like if that's the type of dude you are then it requires a whole lot more change if you're a dude that just sleep with a lot of different women and stuff like that a lot of times it's just about finding the right girl for that dude um a lot of women are like nah i want to play i always play Everybody's different to other to different people. The same guy who would never make a commitment to one girl will make a commitment to another girl and they might even get married and have seven kids and live happily ever after in a castle somewhere. I don't know. It happens. All kinds of crazy things happen with people you never would have known. Um, for instance, I had a friend. I know for a fact this dude slept with four girls in one day. I was at the party. I saw him. I mean, I didn't physically see every aspect of what he was doing, but I saw people come out pulling their clothes up. I know what that means. You know, I'm not, you know, I was born at night, not last night, so I know what's up. He slept with four girls at a party. This dude has been married for like the past seven years or so. And I mean, he ain't got no reason to lie to me about his life, so, you know, he seemed to be be pretty good with his with his wife, so. It happens. But he never really lied to girls. He never sold girls' dreams. He was always keeping it real with them. He was like, look, man, when this is over, don't call me. I won't call you. So it wasn't really a whole lot of change in that I, I don't think he had to do. You know, I think maybe he just had to not sleep with a whole bunch of different women. But as far as the change aspect, I don't think he really had to do a lot. So if you are dealing with a dude that's really dishonest, like, just lies to girls, like, hey, you know, girl, I love you. I, I want to be with you and all that kind of stuff. That's going to require change. Can that player change? The answer is yes, because anybody can change. I mean, you could have people that have been addicted to crack for the last 20 years end up being drug counselors. It happens. People do change. But the thing you have to look at is that that person is not going to be able to change for you. If this person has been lying their whole life, if this person has been dishonest, it doesn't matter how good you come in and be to this person, they're not going to change just because they got with you. They're not going to just suddenly go, oh, okay, this is how I want to be. I'm going to not lie to these girls no more. I'm not going to tell them my name is Jerome Jenkins and uh, when my name is really Bob. Like, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to tell them that I actually play, play for the Pittsburgh Steelers and I'm Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, people do that. That's what's happening. Like, they're not going to change that because they got with you. They're going to have to change that before they get with you. Otherwise, they'll just revert back to it when times go bad. Um, they have to feel also, once they've made the change, you got to remember, if this is the type of person that you are, 
it's a constant battle. Just like, you know, people say, um, like, say you're talking to somebody who's addicted to drugs or something, like, or addicted to alcohol. They're like, I'm always going to be an alcoholic. I just take the process one day at a time. Being a player, being a liar, being a cheater, that's the same type of thing, man. It's, a, it's, it's like an addiction to some people. So every day is like a day at a time. So for them, they have to really feel like the relationship is worth their while to keep working on it. To keep doing it. Because so, you always got to, there's always the fear that they're going to revert back to what they used to do. Just like they lied to all those other girls, they'll start lying to you. Um, and for you, you have to feel that the, the change is worth being patient with that person. If you don't feel like the change is worth it, if you don't feel like being with them and having a, a, a relationship with them is worth it, I would say don't even get involved. Because you're, it's, there, there are going to be some bumps in the road. Even if they changed before you and all that kind of stuff, there are going to be some bumps in the road. And if you can't really be patient with that situation, I would say don't even try that. Because it's going to be an uphill battle. And the chances ain't super high if you're dealing with somebody who is really dishonest and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm, Like I said, people can change. They can stop being that way. But you got to remember... There's always going to be something that's there that, that they're going to be struggling with because it's going to be easier for them when you guys are having problems. It's going to be easier for them to go back and just be dishonest towards you, lie and cheat on you with some other girl or whatever, rather than to try to talk out their problems and work things out. Once again, it's your man Chaz Ellis. I hope I was able to help you out. Definitely go hit me up on my website, Ask Chaz Ellis. Or uh, not as <laughs> the Chaz Ellis Project.com. Hit it up. Get on there. Look at everything. Look at the comedy. Look at the videos. Look at the blogs. Love it. Now hit me up on that. Um, also, go to Facebook to ask Chaz Ellis on Facebook. You can ask me questions. You can get involved in discussions and everything on there. Uh, that, that's been really cool and I've been getting a lot of good stuff from there so make sure you keep doing that um, also you know keep coming here to uh, Chaz Ellis, to ask Chaz Ellis on uh, YouTube also so I appreciate all you guys I hope that y'all really come to the website today and make it a huge success I love every single one of you and everybody who helped to make this possible really do appreciate y'all it's your man Chaz Ellis. Oh yeah, share this video with somebody if they need it. You know that. Share the video and like and subscribe. Peace.